economy is going bad, where are the customers? Where are the customers we need to have? Well, what we've got to watch for right now is supply to then demand. Demand going down, certainly. You've got the demand for goods and services that are dropping, yes. Uh, the economy is contracting. We're probably in a, certainly in a recession, probably in a depression. Doesn't matter. There's still customers out there. The question is where they are, where are they? What are they putting their money into? So right now, as demand is dropping, uh, supply is dropping as well, and it's dropping faster. So we have an even wider opportunity here if you have the right product. So what is selling? That's the problem we've got to see. When you walk into stores, you see those stores that are have 50, 75% off sale. They have products that are on sale, the standard items. The standard items are also in the pipeline going back. Those products are for sale uh, during the boom times. Okay? What are people going to be buying right now? Those retail stores, as you see, still have people walking through, but they're keeping their money in their wallets. They don't see anything they want to buy right now. If you see socks on sale, you say, well, do I really need socks right now? And the longer I wait, the lower the price. That may not, may or may not be true, but the fact of the matter is that's how people are behaving. They're looking at what's out there right now. They don't want what's on the shelves right now. The retailers are desperate for what's new. Hamacher Schlemmer is offering 2500 bucks to anybody who can come up with products that they can put on uh, their, their catalogs, their shelves for sale. Uh, they've been around 150 years and they know what they're doing, but they're desperate for new products. So demand might be dropping right now, but supply is dropping faster. There's perfectly good competitors that are going out of business because they're out of, uh, they can't get the lines of credit anymore. There's other people who've uh, gotten in trouble uh, borrowing too much money. It's not your income statement anymore, it's your balance sheet. Can you handle a reduction in income and still service whatever debt you have? If you can, great. If not, you're sunk. All right. So, um, but what is what are people buying right now? You see, cars all backed up on the docks and in the in the showrooms and on the on the lots. Uh, you see money being put into stimulus bailout packages right now, uh, going in to make green cars. Well, Tesla is doing it right now, putting out a, a green super sport car uh, without a bailout money. The, uh, uh, as I said, there may be socks uh, that are out there for sale. People don't need socks. They can, they can go a little bit longer. Uh, but maybe the new economy, people don't want super special socks, boom time economy socks. Maybe they're turning the temperature down and now they want to go back to wool. And what's not on the shelves is wool socks. I don't know. Whatever field you're going into, the job right now is to find out what people are buying. So people say, what has changed uh, in your class for the uh, new economy? Well, nothing. What I learned from people 30, 35 years ago is still true today. You compete on design. Starting out for you, what product you get involved in, you're standing on the exact same basis as anybody else that's starting right now. To start, they have to find customers. To find the customers, they have to come up with the products that will sell right now. What are the, the uh, uh, retailers buying? What are the customers buying? You find out by going in there. The retailers are turning around to the regular suppliers and they either have credit problems or their lines of credit. Some way or somehow, they're in a jam up. You're not in that jam up starting up. The suppliers overseas are having problems getting uh, uh, customers, so they're more willing and able to, uh, to come on in. The, the question is, of course, with the demand going down, fewer people buying fewer products, where, where do you go? Well, the supply is dropping too, faster. Now, there's plenty of things on the shelves that they wouldn't have 75% off sale, right? That makes sense? Okay. Uh, so with that 75% off sale, people come in and see that and they say, well, do I need socks? Do I need t-shirts? Do I need that? Can I wait? And if I do wait, I know the price is even to go down farther because we're in, it appears to be deflationary time. So why do I want to buy that? So you have to come up with a product that they're going to be willing to, to uh, pay for right now. Okay, so it can't be a standard item, it can't be a commodity item, although Walmart did do quite well last quarter with 
with uh, uh, commodity items. Their sales actually went up 2.1% according to the Wall, Wall Street Journal, whatever. But that's Walmart. That's not who we are, of course. So um, in the specialty store categories, they're being hit too. But Gumps and Hamaker Schlemmer, and there's plenty of people out there that are doing fine in this economy. They need the products that when people walk in, they will buy. It cannot be boom time products, uh, whatever that may be. That's not going to sell real well. Hummers, that kind of car. Uh, uh, standard items like uh, white socks. It's got to be something that is uh, for this changing economy. Instead of specialty sports socks, perhaps people are turning down the the temperature, and now they want wool socks. Maybe they're going back to basic wool that's not in the pipeline coming to the stores, but they wanted updated fashions for today. People still getting on design. So that's essentially where the opportunities are. The supply has dropped faster than the demand. Demand is dropping, but the supply of what goes on the shelves that people will come in and fork over money today for, that's dropping faster. So the retailers are desperate for those products that cause people to make purchases today.